Hey guys, how's it going? Recently, an artist here in the Seattle area reached out to me. His name is Evan Peterson and asked if I could help him make an artist profile video. Something that shows his process on how he goes about making one of his paintings. I shot for a few days and I was just blown away by how talented this guy is. He takes repurposed windows and paints on them, but in reverse. So when you hang it up, you're actually seeing the painting from the other side, not from where he's actually painted it. It's a really cool thing to do. So I'm gonna show you that video here. Uh, I'm gonna put the link to his social media con uh, accounts down below, definitely go and follow him. Uh, reach out to him if you're interested in any of these pieces. I hope you like the video. If you do, click like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. My name is Evan Peterson. I'm from Minnesota, originally born in Minnesota, and um, spent a lot of years in Oregon, and now I'm a uh, official Seattleite in Washington. I think I've done or committed some sort of art for as long as I can remember, but uh, meeting a gentleman named Rick Bartow set me on a whole trajectory of pursuing my art career and giving me confidence to just do it, just to work. I'm a painter, first off, but I've really found my niche doing reverse glass paintings on repurposed windows. In reverse glass paintings, at least for me, I put as much detail uh, into the image right off the bat as opposed to working on a canvas or something where you're doing an underpainting first and then finishing with a lot of detail. The process is the same and totally opposite. I have a specific idea in mind going into the reverse glass painting. It's more deliberate. Um, a traditional process in painting, it's for me anyways, it's more of a matter of making marks and not knowing where that's going to end up. With the reverse glass painting, um, the concept is there and the detail that I put into it immediately is there. Um, so I think that would be the main difference is just that uh, I have to kind of know what that finished painting is going to be generally with a reverse glass painting. A traditional painting, I'm not really sure I know where that's going to end up until it's finished. Now, art is uh, complete freedom for me. It is opposite of what I do all day long, and so it's a perfect way to express everything that I have inside me. When I want to create detail in my glass paintings, I consider contrast of colors, I consider shape, I look at the general image and consider what's missing and add anything if I deem it necessary to add it or take it away. So detail is considered pretty heavily through the whole process. I fail as an artist regularly. If you're not making mistakes, you're not progressing. So um, I embrace any fail or mistake and try to use it to my advantage. I, and lots of times I center, I focus on my fails and uh, try to make them successes. My main influence has been Rick Bartow. Um, I'm crazy for his artwork and he personally turned me on to just about every painter that I'm inspired by. 
I definitely think everyone has artistic ability if they're brave enough to explore and discover it. Living on the Oregon coast and living in Seattle have lots of similarities and parallels, but the obvious main difference is just population. Um, living in a big city as opposed to living in a small coastal town is drastically different for uh, lots of reasons, mainly the pace of, of life. And so I've had to adjust that way as an artist. I feel a, a need to move quicker and to produce more there's just a, a, a drive behind living in a city that I didn't have on the Oregon coast. My name is Evan Peterson. Follow me on social media. Thank you for your time. All right, guys, so you saw the, some of the process on how Evan made that painting. Check it out. So Evan, I saw you making that and it, it looked really weird from the point of view that we were, that you were doing it. But as, it, 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 you know, you made etchings, you painted, you put very small detailed paints into there. And then when everything happened and you flipped it over and we just saw the, the vibrance and the details that comes out the other end, oi, how, I mean, that's amazing. Tell me what, I, tell me where you learned that you can paint in reverse. Well, cool. Um, I, I guess it's a kind of a self-taught thing. It was a complete accident one day in my studio. <laughs> so but, you're like, hey, I think I'm gonna paint in reverse. Yeah, no, well, uh, it was a happy mistake that turned into something that's a mainstay. It's become my niche. So um, yeah, check out more glass paintings for me. Any nice. Well, this one is amazing. It's spoken for. And if you wanna reach him, I'm gonna put the details down in the description below. So reach out, follow, and see the rest of his art. It's amazing. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I should have a new video coming out soon. Thank you. See you.